Welcome back to another exciting episode of our Bird Dog Cloud series. I'm your host, Jake Feynman. Today, we're diving into the newest features of our PTZ cameras, the ability to stream SRT directly from the camera through the internet to our Bird Dog Cloud endpoints. This innovation enables a direct, efficient, and incredibly easy to use transmission workflow for sending your camera feeds back to your production control room from any remote location. Let's explore the future of video production. Our first step is to create a new incoming SRT connection. This enables our cloud endpoint to act as the receiver for any SRT stream, setting the stage for streaming directly from the camera, no matter where it's located, right into our production studio. We'll log into our Bird Dog Cloud dashboard and create a new incoming SRT connection. Moving over to the SRT tab, we get to choose the SRT connection type. Like before, we have three modes, rendezvous, caller, and listener. I'll set my connection to be a listener. That way my camera will call into my cloud endpoint to initiate that connection. We have a few more options on this page. We can set the latency, the overhead percentage, and even enable AES encryption for a secure connection. Back to the configuration tab, we'll set the port number at which cloud will listen for that SRT handshake. Next, we will give a display name for that incoming connection. This will be the name of the new NDI stream on your network. In the advanced options, we can fine tune the encoder profile to meet the, your requirements for balancing latency and high quality streaming. We can also select a local NDI source as the failover if the original incoming stream goes offline, enabling a direct switch to your local content. You can also enable record stream on target endpoint to record the stream directly as it's being recorded into the production studio. We can save all of our settings in the connection template tab to easily recreate our connections as needed. Now that everything is set up, we'll press connect. The link is now open and we'll see a spinning wheel icon indicating that we're ready for that remote camera to connect. Next, we'll jump into the camera's web interface. Here we'll need to enable our Silicon 2 SRT streaming and configure our settings. Head over to the AV setup page, select the SI2 encoding tab, and set SRT as the streaming protocol. We'll change our connection type to be an SRT caller as we're calling into our cloud endpoint that is acting as the listener. Next, we'll input the public IP address, which can be found in the Bird Dog Cloud dashboard by clicking the ellipsis icon next to your cloud endpoint. After that, we'll enter the same port number we have as the listener in cloud, set the SRT latency, and enable our VIU packet. For the last step, we need to return the encode settings tab and ensure that NDI audio is set to mute if our camera lacks embedded audio. Once everything is set, we'll press the device restart button to activate the SRT streaming. On the cloud dashboard, we can see our endpoint generating the thumbnail for the incoming connection. Now it's on my local network. So let's check it out by opening NDI Studio Monitor, and there it is, my camera streaming directly from its location into my production studio. Now that it's an NDI stream on my local network, I can get this into my NDI vision mixers like VizRT TriCaster, vMix, Wirecast, Livestream Studio, and even OBS. I can distribute my content streams throughout my studio and my NDI decoders displaying my content all around my facility. That wraps up our exploration of the incredible streaming capabilities of Silicon 2 and its synergy with BirdDog Cloud. We're heading towards a more created, connected, and efficient workflow for remote video production. Join us again for the next episode where we'll continue to explore more Bird Dog Cloud features and workflows. Until then, remember to keep exploring, keep learning, and most importantly, keep creating amazing content. If you want to learn more about Bird Dog and our ecosystem of industry-changing solutions, please visit our website at birddog.tv. For more questions or further information on the topics we've covered today, feel free to contact us at hello at birddog.tv. And for any technical support needs, don't hesitate to contact our support team at help at birddog.tv. We're always happy to assist. Thanks again for joining us today. See you in the next episode. Happy producing.